Hello OSA, Taras here. A few weeks ago, or months ago, we did a video on the nitrogen cycle, and we did a brief overview on where fish waste comes from, ammonia, and how it's processed by the bacteria in your tank, and how that can lead to either immediate success, and long-term success, or immediate failure. So today we're gonna to be talking about one specific aspect of the nitrogen cycle I wanted to bring up called denitrification. Now we all know that when a fish expels ammonia, that we have bacteria in our tank that consume oxygen and they will turn that ammonia into nitrite and then nitrate. And that's why we test for ammonia and nitrite when we're aging a tank. We're trying to get that end product nitrate to build up. Now that end product nitrate can either be removed by plants, algae, corals, or other photosynthetic organisms, or it can be removed mechanically or diluted with a water change that you'll be conducting. There's a third way that nitrate that inevitable building up end product can be removed. There is a certain school where people will constantly churn up their sand line, where they constantly want it polished. And that's good because you're constantly diluting those nitrates, you constantly have a control of the amount of organic matter building up in your substrate. But the drawback is that the tank itself, to an extent, depending on how it's cycled and what's in there, is pretty dependent on you. It's dependent on that routine water change, it's dependent on your intervention to keep that level of stability. Now, there's another approach where other people have where they never do water changes, they never do gravel siphoning, they, they just let the tank basically establish its own thing long term. And this is, requires a lot more nuance and trust and uh, basically uh, just direct decision making in the initial stage of setting up the aquarium rather than what you're doing as it's maturing. So you can see that here at OSA, we really do believe in a combination of the two. We believe in the front of the aquarium to be pristine. We want all that to be constantly gravel siphoned. We want all of that algae to be scraped. We want all of that organic load to be removed. But at the same time, the rear of the aquarium is where we allow a little bit more uh, of nature to do its thing. You can see here that the back part of our polydarium here has lots of woody organic matter at the surface that aesthetically would not be acceptable at the uh, front of the aquarium, but in the back, it provides an important carbon source for all the different microbial activity which has been allowed to establish and stabilize because this back part of the aquarium is relatively untouched. It receives some oxygen from the flow of the aquarium, but those bottom layers are actually allowed to go anoxic. And that's fine. As long as there's more nitrogen down there than there is carbon or any actual rotting food items, as long as there's just nitrogen building up down there, that nitrate, there are bacteria that in the absence of oxygen will denitrify. They'll take that nitrate and they'll zing boom ba it right into the atmosphere as nitrogen gas. And you'll actually see bubbling come out of your substrate from time to time. Now, this is uh, a feature called denitrification that not everyone wants to rely on, obviously, because depending on how much uh, organisms you want stocked into your aquarium, you might not necessarily want to depend entirely on denitrification because it won't necessarily catch up in time. But as a complement to having other means of diluting the nitrate, such as water changes and having plants, having areas in your wood and your rock work Anywhere where there's some level of stability that's allowed to establish long term, you really can produce a third community of biofiltration, a third set of bacteria. So as opposed to just having the bacteria on your side that convert the ammonia into nitrite into nitrate, you can also have bacteria on your side which will convert that nitrate directly into nitrogen gas. So denitrification, uh, it's a relatively uh, newly embraced method of biofiltration in the aquarium industry, but it's something that many people are now recognizing is the difference between a really well-aged, pristine tank and a tank that's young and constantly goes through growing pains. So, thank you for watching, and if you have any other questions or a different aquarium subject you'd like us to cover, please comment below, like, subscribe, and feed that hungry algorithm. See you next time.